we are with look number two of the DC Gotham Siren series, Poison Ivy. If you'd like to see how I created this look, then go ahead and keep on watching. Welcome back to my channel and starting off with my favorite BH Cosmetics palette we're going to go ahead and use one of those cool neutral browns and start sculpting out areas of the face and the body that we don't want to have lost in translation once we start adding those lines down the road. Using the most vibrant green from the palette, we're going to go ahead and start smudging in around all the outer edges of the face and the body to start enhancing some of that green. You don't want to completely eliminate any of that brown taupey color that we've been using, but you definitely want to keep the most concentration of that green to the back outer edges and just softly blend them forward. Now we're going to pat with that same green all over the lid and smudge slightly into the crease. Then leaving a space, we're going to smudge that green just below the brow bone. Start layering a deeper green down towards the crease and a little green under your eye and then start smoking out a black shadow into that crease up towards the brow bone to create that depth illusion. In just a moment to focus on those brows, you're going to take your Sharpie China marker and outline the top and bottom of each brow connecting at that outer point. You're going to want to put some red shadow in those front thirds of the brows to enhance that color and then using this liquid eyeliner we're going to fill in the outer two thirds of the brow. Then take it and go vertically and create little hair strokes towards the front third of each brow. Using the same marker, we're going to go ahead and start creating little lines like you would see in a comic book to outline the features of the face, neck, and collarbone region. attention back to the eyes we're going to use that same liquid eyeliner and start creating a very extreme cat's eye you're going to fully line the top and the bottom lids in a very thick dramatic line now time for some very dramatic lashes Using that same Sharpie marker, we're gonna go ahead and start outlining the lips. You're gonna to wanna to over-dramatize the edge, extending the points on the outer part of the mouth for a dramatic effect, and fully line the top and the bottom. Here I'm just shading in from the outer edges to help create more of a depth effect, like a comic book look. If you've never seen these pencils before, they're for marking china on craft projects, so they're semi-waterproof and they do not stain your skin. Next, you're just gonna wanna add a coat of whatever favorite red lipstick you have. Then we're gonna go ahead and pat a little bit of that bright, vibrant red shadow over it to help seal in that color, and then go back over with that black pencil to ensure that you're not losing definition and shadowing. Now for some final touches with that same pencil to ensure that we have as much detail as we want on the face for that kind of sketched look. Now using body paint in the color white, I'm going to add a little bit of highlight to the lips. 
Using some seasonal leaves that I actually purchased from the dollar store, I created a layered effect for the top portion of my corset and then started gluing the different colors around my face and my neck. Here, personally, I'm using latex because I do not have a severe allergy to it, but always make sure that you are testing as there are alternative adhesive options out there and you wanna make sure that you do not have an allergy to them before you start sticking it all over your body. So please, please test. Before gluing any more on, I wanted to go ahead and start using just a solid green body paint and started painting some fairly simple lines to create kind of a vine effect in different places between the leaves on my neck and chest. just taking an ultra fine brush and some white body paint and I'm just getting a highlight line down on each one of those vines. Working with some black eyeshadow, I'm going to go ahead and smudge in a drop shadow line below each one of the vines. Keep that comic book look going I'm gonna go ahead and use a very thin brush and some watered down black body paint to go ahead and outline each one of those vines as well Go ahead and glue on some more leaves in layers now that I know that first layer is dry and go ahead and start filling in areas that I feel are just a little too sparse. Finish off the look with a bright red wig and you're good to go. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching. I know that you don't have to and I greatly appreciate it every time you do.